a talk show So you film one in your bedroom And you call it Up Late Live Hello to you and welcome wherever and whenever you are in the world to a brand new series of Up Late Live, a talk show that I film right here in my bedroom in the beautiful Mount Lolly area of Western Australia. I am your host Shane Adamzak and joining me today on the show, amazing comedian Elf Lyons is here. We're going to have a musical performance by the amazing Shania Choir. And very excited to have her back, even though we don't live together anymore, live via satellite from Toronto, my ex-housemate, Leia Rondo is here! My first guest joining me at the desk today is a very funny lady all the way from England. Please make her very welcome to Up Late Live. It's Elf Lyons! This is just a way for you to bring people into your bedroom, isn't it? There is no film in that camera. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Welcome. <laughs> Elf Lyons, welcome to Up Late Live. Hello. Thank you for being my first ever guest in the Australian version of this show. It's a brand new season. Brand new guest, Elf Lyons is here. Very exciting. Uh, welcome to Perth. It's your first time to my hometown. Yeah. First impressions now that you've been here for about 24 hours. You're still super jet lagged. I'm still incredibly jet lagged. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's very big. It's a bit like Legoland. Oh. I like the beep, 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 beep of the noises when you cross the road. Oh, the crossing noises, yep. Yeah. don't like the taste of the water. I think the cockroaches are really pretty. I didn't realise they were cockroaches. So I was in the bathroom and there were these bugs. I went... Oh, what are you? And I was like, these beautiful red ruby creatures. Oh, no. And then, and then I was trying to explain them to my Airbnb host. Yeah. And she went, okay, I'll send my husband in. And we'll sort of it in Australian accent. Which yeah, that, I, that wasn't bad. Was it not? Not the worst I've heard. And I've, okay. I've got a lot of Canadian friends who have all tried and failed miserably. I'm really Sorry, bad at accents. Did. I'm terrible. What's the, what's the best accent you can do? Other than English, obviously. Um... Oh god, I really don't know because they're all so bad. Okay, can I throw a, a few at you? Throw a few at me and we'll see what Give I'm... me your best American, just general American. Oh, hello, welcome to <laughs> No, I can do okay, it. Shall I give oh, you... hello, wait, no. Wait. Do you want me to give you a sentence? Give me a sentence. Okay, the sentence is, hey, get, get off the sidewalk, I'm walking here. Hey, get off the sidewalk, I'm walking here. <laughs> okay, there was there was a little bit Lu Louisiana, I think, in that. It was okay. Southern Belle. Uh, all right, uh, uh, Irish. What about Irish? I can do an Irish accent when I'm drunk. What about Welsh? You're, you're pretty close to Wales. Wales. Oh, I can. No, I can't. I can't do a Welsh accent. Well, I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, was, my comedy partner Ryan is Welsh. Oh, okay. So he's constantly banging on about Welsh history. So you do. I say banging on, informing me in a very interesting. <laughs> and eccentrically charged manner. All right, before we move on, I'll give you the essential Australian phrase I give people to say when okay. they want to try this. When they want to do a good Australian accent, you have to say, can you grab me a paper? I want to sell my Tirana. It's out the back. <laughs> Go fetch me a paper. I want to sell my Tirana. It's out the back. Gr grab me a paper. <laughs> <laughs> You are judging me so hard. No, no, I'm just really Grab enjoying it. Grab me a paper. Yeah. I need to see on my Tirana out the bank. What is a Tirana? It's a car. Right. It's okay. a type of car. I thought it was like a... Yes. A, 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 like the this family. is a Tirana right now on this screen. There you go. That's a Tirana. Uh, it didn't help you because you're. That, I did that in post. But when I watched this afterwards, so I watched this multiple times going, what could I have done better? Just trying to get those stats up. Um, I met you two years ago in the Adelaide Fringe. You were doing... Was it two years? It was three years, wasn't it? Let was it three years ago? Let me check the poster. I don't know. No, you're right. It was. It was three, three years. years ago. Well, I was 23. I'm 26 now. Wow. I'm a woman now. You Before are. I was just a, a youth, a naive girl. You were just a kid. World. Just a little kid trying to make it in this crazy world. You were doing a great show called Being Barbarella. Yeah. Since then, you spent a year in Paris yeah. studying clown. Yeah. Well, I never studied clown. Oh. Everybody always says you did clown. I didn't. I, oh, clown sorry. was the one bit I didn't do. Very presumptuous of me. No. But at the, at the, the Goliere school. Yeah. So what did you do? What was your focus? What was that like? Oh, it was horrible. Well, no, it was, it was the best. But it was... Oh, we did melodrama and... Yeah. We did all the... 
rolling around on the floor doing a neutral mask and I was really good at pretending to be a horse. That was my one. Oh, I have seen you pretend to be a horse. Have you? you well, you did a horse oh, bit in Thing horse. by Rowan. Yeah. I did, it was one of my favourite bits. I think, oh, if I'm horse. honest, if I'm honest, that was probably the moment I went, I want to be friends with that person when you I saw you pretend to be a horse. You didn't see my show until the end of the run. We'd already been friends for like three weeks by that point. Yeah, but I didn't like you until then. Yeah. Speaking of uh, comedy, yeah. take me back to the first time you ever did stand-up. Your mm -hmm. first, like, type five. Do you remember that gig? Where were you and how did it go? It was October the 16th, 2008. 2008. For, for real? That was the date? Yeah, October the 16th. The date Oscar Wilde was born. Well, uh, so my viewpoint was that I was always, if I had a baby, I was going to call it Wild after. Because then my last name was Wild Lions. Wild Lions. And, yeah, which it's I pretty thought, cool. But then I realised I'd be that mother and I cannot be that mother. I can't be Like you'd be, you'd, you'd be Northwest. Yeah. yeah. Northwest. So, oh boy. I last Kanye. Oh, what was he thinking? Oh, but no, Beyonce's names for her kids are the are even worse. What are they called? They're like Ivy Car, Blue Ivy, and then I think one of them's called Concept. Oh, I don't know. Concept. Just, I'm not even making that. I don't know if that's true. I hope it's true. I've, yeah. Concept. I've met someone called Conceptor. That's. A, I think that was one of the Decepticons from Transformers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's your geeky uh, secret pleasure? Like mine is, you've seen my toy collection, for example. Yeah. Um, the thing is, there's nothing I'm really secret about. I'm yes, go. great. I'm glad you said that. Because um, it's not like guilty pleasure would suggest something that's genuinely, you should feel guilty about it. Like, yeah, like I like to like... I like smell not... all my friend's knickers without telling them. Yeah, that's, I like, I like to stab dogs. <laughs> that's that's, that's just, my guilty pleasure. You've gone <laughs> really deep, dark, mm. too quickly. Oh, okay. No, no. I like to maim dog. <laughs> Is that alright? Yeah, that's fine. It's like my guilty pleasure. That's fine. Um, well, I'm really boring. I'm just a big bookworm. I just read. I just spend a lot of my, my I spend my guilty pleasure is just, I cancel. I get invited to like a party in London at the week. I get invited to parties. Or someone goes, are you coming to Humble party? brag. Humble brag. Someone gets some Facebook invitations. <laughs> I click interested. Um, I will just stay in and read books. I, I've just, that's in my life. I've also bought an electric guitar. Oh. That's not a guilty pleasure. But is that, that with is. you in Australia? No, it isn't. We but jammed. Uh, I don't know how to play. You can't I, learn to play without a guitar. So I've got this beautiful red guitar which I call Misery after my favourite character in Stephen King. And with the problem is, I haven't been able to have lessons and I don't know how to tune the guitar and I find it too loud when I plug it into the amp. So I'm just... Well, you know what Weezer always says, if it's too loud, turn it down. Just turn it down. There you go, kids. We were talking about your first five. Yeah. Take me back there. October the 16th, 2008, downstairs at the King's Head, I went with my dad, uh, my boyfriend of the time, called Callum, and... Hi we, Callum, if you're watching. Hi Callum. He was called Callum Brody, and so my, because I, obviously I was like that young age, of going, oh, we'll get married, because I've met the one. Yeah. He, and in my head I thought, oh great, if we get married and we've doubled by our names, modern, it would be Wild Brody Lions. Oh, that's Which pretty... I thought was like... That poor kid. That poor... That poor fictional child. That kid is like either going to become like a real hippie guitar player, a bounty hunter, <laughs> or a drug addict, or a drug addict. Yeah. yeah. Or um. Sorry. Or a reality TV star. Mm. But uh, I did the gig. I lasted two and a half minutes. I hadn't planned it. I really had no idea how to structure a routine, and I I basically died. Like mm -hmm. I, just, I died, and I tripped over the microphone. And I hit my head, oh. and it was so awkward. And my two friends, Paul and Fish, were there as well. And because they were fish. Hey Paul and Fish, Fish now works for Amnesty International. Hi Amnesty And Paul Am actually now works for ITV, so they've both done very well. Uh, yeah. Well hey, done, really look bad. at you now. Okay, you know, yeah, I'm here. Here with you. Not bad. And cool. when I did the gig, I was really embarrassed, and my dad said, You just need to work on your material. And you did, and you worked on it. And I worked And now on you're on tour. And now across I'm on tour. Uh, Elf, we're going to get in bed in a sec. I'm going to ask you some really hard-hitting questions from you guys out there in internet land. But before we do, I'm going to get you to roll this D6 to decide how we're going to end the segment today. Cool. All right. You've rolled a five. Elf, yeah. we're going to show an embarrassing baby photo of you right now. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Up Late Live. I am in bed with Elf Lions. 
I am ready to give you some hard hitting questions okay. from the audience. I've been set in via Twitter and Facebook. These are the links on the screen if you want to send in your questions for the next episode. Are they all about Brexit? Uh, I don't think there's any Brexit ones in here. They're quite random. Okay. So I do apologise on behalf of my audience because they are mostly morons. Are these legitimately questions people have These said? are really questions people have sent in from oh. the internet, yeah. All right, let's start with this one. Rena Hundert, it's my friend from Canada, says, How do you think your life would be different if you were named Jake? Um, I probably would have been paid slightly better. Mm -hmm. um, I probably would have um, moved up the career ladder in comedy better. I think people probably would have asked me some questions about why I was a female named Jake. Yeah. But I'm assuming if I was named Jake, I would thus be a man. Yeah. But then maybe that's my back in my behind views on gender and yeah. not and names. So I'm. I would suggest if you want to make it bigger in comedy in Australia, you should call yourself Dave. Dave. Dave's the real comedy name here. Right. Uh, yeah. Natalie Lewis writes, what's your view on milk first or hot water first in the great tea making debate? Oh, you've got to put hot water in first. You've got to let it brew. You pour it in so the flavours come out for about what? Three minutes, four minutes, and you stir it. And then if you add the milk, it dampens the flavour and you can't get it out and you end up with just like really spunky white tea. You heard it. Uh, look, Natalie's English as well, so Natalie, if you agree, Natalie, let me know. Natalie, what's wrong with well, you? Well, uh, she might agree with you. She just wants to know your view. Uh, thank you, Natalie. Uh, Evan Harvey writes, what the hell happened? What the hell happened? Mm -hmm. um, well, I was drunk. It was a dark night. I crashed the Segway. We've all been Two there. Two double wines and an egg. <laughs> Josh Crane asks, what sort of duck would you like to be? Thanks, Josh. Oh, um, what duck would I like? To well, wait, duck? Yeah. We've already specified the species. Well, it depends what to put back. Um, you know what? I don't know enough. I would say if I wanted to be a bird, I'd probably like to be something like a robin. There you go. Uh, Steph Hickey writes, what's the greatest movie of all time? That is a tough question. Um, you remind me of a babe. The Labyrinth. Love it. Uh, Julie Roberts writes, okay, this is a good one. As someone who's never read comic books before and enjoys a romantic subplot, what comic book recommendations would you have? This is how to break I mean, enough lions. Saga is probably... Saga is a great saga's, one. Saga is, I mean, a go-to for a first-timer. Also, Fables I always enjoyed for the weird sort of love affairs there. Um, for the weirdest sex scene in a comic book, I mean... Um, sex oh, Criminals? Oh, Have yeah. Have Sex Criminals? I love Sex That's Criminals. That's a good one. That would be fun to do that. I think that should be made into a film. We should be in that film. That All film right. Well, nice. look, camera's already going. Uh, Lindsay, S S Lindsay S. from Canada. Lindsay, I don't know how to say your last name. I'm going to be honest. Lindsay S. If What do you reckon? Stam Hughes? Stam Hughes? Stam Lindsay Stam, Stam Hughes says, If you could be in the movie of your choice, what movie would you choose and what character would you play? I would... Oh! I would love to be in, I've always wanted to be in a, like a, like one of those vampire films or like one of those, and like Blade and I'm Blade and I like, they do that bit where they get down on their knees and yeah. they look up and then they like pull out the guns and then suddenly it's in slow motion and they get up and then they, and they jump and they punt. I want to do one of those. You want to do then, superhero crouch. Yeah. And, 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 and then it, it turns into Annie Hall. Oh, okay. And I then Labyrinth and David Bow is there. Ooh, yes. And then I kiss David Bow. Oh, all right. That would be the truth. All right, two more to go. Penultimate question. Laura Rafferty asks, how do you keep your hair so red? It's just... Amazing. It's just ginger. It's just... I'm just a fire cop. Just is. And finally, I'm Steve sorry. Ithia asks, does this sound like a silly question? No. There you have it. Thank you, Elf Lions, for joining me on Up Late Live. We're going to be right back after this. It's Elf Lions, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this first brand new episode of Up Late Live. It's a little bit crowded in here today because we have the biggest, by volume and by star quality, act we've ever had close the show. Big thanks to Elf Lions and Leia Rondo for being here. Guys, to bring it home, episode one, we're back for a brand new year and here it is, Shania Choir! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Let's go girls, no innovation, wow, wow. 